Do you struggle with designing your shipping container home? Well, in this video, we're gonna let you behind the scenes. We're in the middle of building a large project in Oklahoma, and I wanna walk you through the design process that we went through to do this build. This is gonna include architectural designs, engineering designs, and a few other elements as well. And you are gonna to wanna to stay till the very end. We're gonna be giving you access to a lot of really vital information for those of you that want to design and build your own container home. Now, before we move forward at the very end of this video, we're gonna be giving you free access to an entire workshop. But in this video, I wanna kick us off by discussing uh, the very first step of design, and that is your conceptual design. Uh, at this stage, you're trying to figure out what type of container home you're building. Is it a single container? Is it multiple containers combined? And one of the big things that comes up is how do you design that and how do you experience that space before you actually build the home? Now, there's a couple things you can do that could be really helpful. One thing you could do is that if you already have a container and it does reflect the size that you want to do, I encourage you to actually lay out the space on the inside get some blue painter's tape, and actually begin to mark out the different areas that you want to do in your container home. And that's going to give you a good feel for the space and make sure that the bedroom's not too small or the kitchen is not too small. It's going to help you understand what the space is actually within a container home. You know, we've built over 100 container homes, and I do realize that in that process with designing with clients, a lot of time people have misconceptions about the interior space. In their head, it is a lot wider than it is in reality. And so you do wanna do your homework up front to make sure you design properly, especially if this is your first container. Now, another way that you can help understand your space a little bit better is with a 3D model of your design. Uh, this is something that an architect can help you with or something that you can work with someone online, even overseas, and get it done for maybe $100. But what they're going to do is create a 3D model of your unit, and it's going to allow you to experience the outside aesthetic, but also the interior layout. This is another beneficial way to truly understand the space. Now, what I do encourage people to do in the design process is to incorporate a lot of doors and windows in your design. In a container, you're limited on your interior width, and it's important that you open up the space. A key way of doing that is adding large windows. It's also gonna allow a lot of natural light to fill the space, which in turn is gonna make it feel warm and larger as well. Now, one of the really unique design elements that we're incorporating into this build is we're actually converting the original shipping container doors into entry doors. This means we're cutting out the entire panels on those container doors, I'm gonna be replacing them with glass that's about three feet by seven feet in height. That's gonna not only open up the space by opening up the doors, but when the doors are closed, you're still gonna have incredible views. One more design feature that I'm a fan of on this build is the rooftop deck. Every unit that we're building is gonna have a rooftop deck, and we're gonna have a whole separate video on how we build them and how you can do that as well but it's a really strategic thing to do in container construction because you're already dealing with such a sturdy and durable structure. Uh, you know, in most home applications, it may be tough to do a rooftop deck, especially with roofs and pitches and all of that. But with the container home, it's very simple and it's something that you definitely wanna consider taking advantage of. Now, once you have your conceptual design completed, you really have a good grasp of your layout, your door and window locations, where your kitchen is, the size of the spaces, the next step is your architectural drawings. Now this is something that you typically will work with a local architect that's gonna be licensed in your state. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna create a floor plan for you, elevations, sections, and everything that the building department is gonna to wanna to review to ensure that what you're planning on constructing is gonna meet the local building codes. Now these architectural drawings are really important, not just for the city, but for your builder as well. When we're constructing a container home, creating very detailed architectural drawings prevents a lot of confusion during the build process. It's for this reason that in our architectural drawings, we have tons of notes, tons of details, tons of dimensions, because we want everyone, both the client and us, to be on the same page. Now, once you've completed your conceptual drawings and your architectural drawings, your next step is gonna to be to work with an engineer who's gonna ensure your structure is strong enough to withstand any natural disasters. Now, this will vary by location. If you're in Florida, you're gonna to need to make sure you can withstand hurricanes. If you're in California, you have concerns about earthquakes. 
So a lot of this will vary by location and different locations will have different building standards. Uh, but more often than not, what they wanna do is they wanna make sure that anytime you cut a hole into the container to put a door or a window, that it's properly reinforced with steel so that it is strong and it is rigid and it can withstand those types of natural disasters. In some of these areas, they may also ask you to increase the strength of your windows. So for example, if you're in Florida, you're gonna need a higher grade of window, something that's much stronger than a window that you would need here in Nevada. Now the engineer is also gonna help you with your foundation. When you're navigating the foundation, someone's gonna have to do a soils report on your property to understand the density of the ground. Some of you may be in a location with very soft ground, maybe even swampy type ground. Others, others of you might be in the middle of the desert and your ground feels like solid rock. Depending on the type of soil that you have will impact the type of foundation that's best for your unit. And these engineers wanna make sure that this foundation is sturdy, that it's strong, that over time your home isn't gonna sink, and in the event of a natural disaster, your home is not gonna move. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as we broke down the design phase of a container home project. And like I mentioned at the very beginning, we do have a free training that I'd love for you to check out. The link is in the description below. It is our 2024 container home training showing you how we do what we do. I think it'll be a big help for you as well. And I'll see you in the next video.